हेलो नमस्कार सत्यकाल आदाब आप सबका स्वागत है इस नए नए चमचमाते पॉडकास्ट के ऊपर जिसका नाम है एग्जैक्टली exactly ऑपोजिट और मैं हूँ आपका अपना यारा जिगरा सखा रितेश उर्फ वॉइस वन तो आज वापस एक बार हमारे साथ है हमारी फेवरेट अनुष्का जी अनुष्का पिंटो और आज के लिए हमने बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छे इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स कुछ ढूंढ के निकाले एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक अ न्यू कॉन्वर्जेशन वी आर ट्राइंग सम न्यू एलिमेंट्स टू दिस पॉडकास्ट तो डू टेल अस इफ यू लाइक इट और नॉट और लेट्स कंटिन्यू कैसा लग रहा है तुझे अनुष्का वापस एक बार इस पॉडकास्ट पे आके बहुत मजा आ रहा है I mean, you know, it's like fun to talk about uh, topics. You know, we both enjoy and find, uh, you know, that interconnect between. It's fun, and being on this podcast is very exciting. Yeah, so like, uh, abhi, ah, uh, ah, uh, jo hamara Shizwan school hai, uske teen cha logon se uh, I am like connected. So like, uh, sab bol rahe mujhe ki like the schedule is all hectic. It's all like cramped into. Like like uh, you have very less time for a lot of work. So like, bhi routine kaisa chal raha hai and like, uh, how is like, uh, like, are there any new things that you have tried out in this time? The school जब से चालू हुआ है इट्स लाइक फुल्ली स्कूल सिंधान स्कूल में हमारी स्कूल लेट चालू हुई तो ऑलरेडी वो पोर्शन भगाने का कम्पलीशन टेस्ट ये वो उसकी वजह से ऑलरेडी बहुत हेक्टिक हुआ एंड सिंस हम सब ऐसे लॉकडाउन के बच्चे है हम दो साल लॉकडाउन में रह के बहुत मजे किए हैं अभी ऑफलाइन स्कूल जाना एंड लाइक एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू इट इज लाइक फिजिकली आल्सो वेरी एग्जॉस्टिंग एंड न्यू स्किल्स या कुछ ऐसे सीखने का वही ना टाइम ही नहीं मिल रहा स्कूल के इतने चीज अगर स्कूल की पढ़ाई और सब नहीं होती है इवेंट कमिंग अप इन द स्कूल एंड तुम्हें उसकी तैयारी करनी होती है या टीचर्स का कोई काम आ जाता है न्यू स्किल्स ऐसे ट्राई करने का मुझे मौका ही नहीं मिला आई डू हैव अ फ्यू थिंग्स इन माइंड एंड आई वांट टू लर्न अ फ्यू न्यू लैंग्वेजेस एंड स्टफ जो मुझे पसंद है वो सब चीजें ऐसे लाइन में रखी है कि मुझे ये करना है ये करना है बट इट यू नो ऐसे लाइक एंड ऑफ द डे व्हेन यू लाइक सो एग्जॉस्टेड यू लाइक जस्ट लेट मी टेक अ रेस्ट आई डोंट वांट टू लर्न एनीथिंग राइट आई डोंट वांट टू डू एनीथिंग सो दैट इज अ वेरी बोरिंग करंट रूटीन लगता है मैं भी एक दो महीने में शायद I'll get a little grip of this and I'll be able to, you know, work with the flow and something or the other I'll be able to do. What about you? Your life is going crazy. My routine is all like <laughs> nine o'clock, get up, wash your face, have some dry fruits, then like uh, freshen up, then like घर का झाड़ू पोछा करो, सारे कपड़े अच्छे से washing machine में धो, उसको सुखाओ, then like have a bath, थोड़ा सा हल्का फुल्का पूजा मतलब लाइक पूजा इन द सेंस हम लाइक एकदम वो मंत्र जाप हवन नहीं करता हूँ मैं लाइक आई जस्ट को लैम्प जो दिया लगाया आई जस्ट प्रे अगरबत्ती जला देता हूँ अगर अगरबत्ती नहीं लगी हुई है तो लाइक थोड़ा घर के अंदर घंटी बजा दो और लाइक देन लाइक गेट टू द डेस्कटॉप स्विच इट ऑन लाइक जो भी पॉडकास्ट स्क्रिप्ट है जो भी तीन चार अलग अलग जो सोलो पॉडकास्ट है उसकी रिसर्च करो गेस्ट को ढूंढो नेक्स्ट पॉडकास्ट के लिए फिर लाइक बहुत बहुत सारी चीजें चलती रहती देन लाइक थ्री ओ क्लॉक इट्स लंच टाइम मेरा भाई स्कूल से आ जाता है वो भी शेजवान स्कूल में ही है तो लाइक like, वो स्कूल से आ जाता है देन लाइक हैव अ टॉक विथ हिम ईट या फिर लाइक पॉडकास्ट का रिकॉर्डिंग रहता है तीन बजे जैसे लाइक like, अभी है हमारा रिकॉर्डिंग तीन बजे चल रहा है तो लाइक हैव अ रिकॉर्डिंग गो फॉर अ लिटल वॉक इफ आई हैव टाइम कम बैक होम स्लीप लाइक ईट फूड एंड स्लीप So yours is a bit monotonous. Must be every day. Yeah, it's it's monotonous and like now it's getting a little boring. But I uh, after Ganpati, my college is starting, so like uh, there is like a ray of hope I can feel. That's great. And so, then, abhi entertainment or sab ke liye, what is the thing you go to? Like movies, dekhna, TV shows, or what is the thing? I watch like Family Guy. I watch like recently. I watched Sardar Uddham. It moved me a lot as a person. Then I like read stories. I am reading Jeffrey Archer. I read like uh, the crime uh, stories. Like it's very interesting. I do agree. Crime stories are interesting. Uh, to all those people who feel you know it's scary or something. एक बार तुम देखने लगोगे और या पढ़ने लगोगे ना you are you how you will get addicted to them you'll be like you know 
ऐसे तुम सुनोगे ना यूल बी लाइक ये होगा वो होगा There's that excitement and thrill when you're like either reading or watching some crime story or something. Like, kya hua hoga? You discover like you know new ways. I would say of like crime, new crimes, new ways of committing crimes, or you know, and then it changes also your outlook towards things and everything. I can agree to that. Like, जो crime stories like मैंने सुनी है या फिर like मैंने खुद पढ़ी है या फिर like I have researched about it. Like, there are a few episodes that are going to come. uh like i have a proper like uh, segment of my uh, whole podcast like the solo podcast it's like controversy unfolded in that like i talk about a lot of controversial things and like one of them are like crimes that happen like day to day me like uh, i am researching on like a lot of people uh, nowadays like a lot of uh, jo bolte like closed files is duniya mein इट मे बी इंटरनेशनल फाइल्स इट मे बी लाइक इंडिया की खुद की अंदर की फाइल्स लाइक उसमें जेन्यूनली लाइक द पीपल हु आर कमिटिंग क्राइम आर लाइक बहुत ज्यादा कॉमन हाउस होल्ड से आते हैं लाइक देर इज लाइक अ कॉमनैलिटी बिटवीन ऑल ऑफ दैम दे ऑल आर इधर स्ट्रेस्ड और बोर्ड फ्रॉम देयर करंट लाइफ सो दे लाइक फाइंड एक्साइटमेंट या दे फाइंड दैट डोपमीन के in like other things rather than their uh, what you call like daily schedule i mean even there is like one youtube channel i watch uh, for these crime stories and like i don't like searching different different places i find like this you they keep updating with this uh, crime stories and that's that and that person who uh, who speaks that he also has you know that really good way of storytelling So it's like even if you're like closing your eyes and listening, you can just imagine all the stuff happening. And I would say even like when you listen to crime stories, also helps. You know, you imagine stuff. It helps, or you just learn something new that you can uh, not apply in your daily life, but you know, uh, use it somewhere, or you will uh, learn something new that it may help you to protect yourself also, or just in some way it will be useful to you. या yeah, लाइक like, uh, अगर तुम रीड uh, कर रहे हो या फिर लाइक यू आर लिसनिंग समथिंग फ्रॉम अ पर्सन लाइक अ क्राइम स्टोरी और एनी स्टोरी फॉर दैट मैटर फैक्ट लाइक यू हैव द पावर ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन लाइक आई आई एम रिसेंटली लाइक आई वाज आई हैड वॉच्ड द अमेरिकन साइको क्रिश्चियन बेल की मूवी है इट्स अ वेरी नाइस मूवी सो लाइक इट वॉज ओरिजिनली अ बुक विद लाइक द सेम टाइटल अमेरिकन साइको and like uh, the author at the end of the book he made it like uh, a non uh, distinguishable part but like uh, jo director jisne movie banayi hai uh, mm-hmm. she like uh, she had like her own set of vision for like the whole screenplay let's let it be like the camera angles or like anything for that matter and like uh, how cannot... the story takes place yeah like you cannot visualize beyond a point like the uh, director is like uh, he gives you like a plate full of things and like you just have to use those to like uh, get uh, a hang a hang hold of like the whole scenario but like uh, when you are reading the book you just have the content and uh, you have the power of visualizing everything else like whether it be how the character looks uh, how he may dress how like the city or like the people around him have been described the other people like the other characters you can visualize it to a very uh, you can make your own movie in your mind yeah yeah like you have that relatability factor like you can relate that character to someone in your real life like maybe someone you know like thoroughly or like maybe just like a a relative or like a long lost friend kind of thing mostly that's what we do when we find when we read something we like this person is most attached or most close to this character we imagine them as that and that is a fun part of reading or listening that i prefer reading or listening more than watching movies like even when i'm watching movies i'm like when you watch something that stops your imagination there because there is something in front of you but when you're reading it is just a vast open ocean and you are the sailor of your ship you can take it anywhere you want so like a uh, crime ko agar hum log dekhe i like to uh, like with your permission i like to uh, continue on that point a little more ki like uh, what are your uh, like sayings on how crime happens and like how in general like a criminal's mindset is 
what i believe is behind i don't this is a personal point of view but i believe like every um, any for that matter any uh, you know evil or bad action has uh, you know somewhere down the line it is because of something good uh, i mean good going bad it is all i feel that is the reason behind it the thing behind crime is like i have uh, read a few i mean heard a few crime stories in which uh, they have done it for thrill i i mean that is somewhere you can understand when your life is boring you don't have anything i a person it is not that you do go and i'm not saying that you should go and do but you know that is going in your mind you know it gives you a new um, look out of life also and it gives you a new uh, it may be giving them a new thrill or something to enjoy or maybe sometimes it is just because uh, you know they just they don't like it sometimes you know you must have heard crime stories where they've killed someone or done something because uh, that person wasn't good to them or something personally that is wrong to me and i feel those criminals can be brought on the right path if uh, you know properly uh, rehabilitated and stuff what do you like, think like a person i feel like a criminal he is vulnerable to his own set of emotions and thoughts like like every person like we all are vulnerable to our emotions to right. our uh, like chemical hormonal uh, levels like if that changes in a second it changes your whole mood it changes of uh, like your look out about things in like a second in a fraction of a second like right. uh, you may have like a positive approach to life something bad happens to you, your mood suddenly changes and you are like suddenly what uh, the evil creeps on you uh, in a way like if that makes sense i mean and what i you know when i just like randomly think about them no i also feel that they have more uh, you know like this uh, kya bolte the um, you know that power to do it like you know hum bhi bahut bar in our life you must have said na you know if we don't like a person or something you must have said something about it but these are those people now who just don't say it they do stuff they get into action like they are action oriented yeah and they are like you know they don't think before they do they are like more like just do it they are emotionally driven people or i don't right. know like objective driven people or like uh, uh, monetarily uh, driven people yeah like major crime stories that i have heard like uh, which are like indian uh, mm-hmm. many of them are like for money or it's for like a revenge or sorts yeah in i mean to be honest in india the most thing that has happened is like this it's very rare that i've heard some story that is very different or something you know that is uh, very na- exciting to listen to or something in india also recent ones are all the same thing robbery theft murder something on the same lines for revenge or something but enough mm. about these crimes let's talk about maybe some ghost experiences yeah like uh, have you had any uh, occult or ghost experiences like like you know i have not felt it but uh, this has happened with me once i was uh, with my friends and uh, we were in a lift we came down of the we came out of the building and everything and one of uh, one of my friends they go like did you see that girl in the lift and we were two girls only so i'm like we were the only two girls who else is there in the lift they were like no there was another girl in the lift and like now none of us have seen that one person seeing that was you know after coming out it was like scare like there was no one or something we thought he was joking but then when he like went into detail and stuff you're like no he's not joking there was something for sure and then afterwards um uh, another of my friends who lived in the same uh, building was like well, such incident happened to me also and then we're like you know okay let's just leave this topic it's like very scary when you see you know if you face it personally i've not like you know felt anything of such but like you know when you hear like it was uh, something happened where you were or something you no know, there's like a fear creeps into you like you know what if it happens with me also are you scared of the dark mm, i not really unless you know i sit at night and watch some ghost movie i prefer keeping a small light on just in case you know i get up and it happened to me once i remember it this is this is a very embarrassing story 
I got, I mean, I just got up at night and in front of me, there was a mirror. I got up uh, after seeing a weird dream. I got up and the first thing I see is myself in the mirror and I just scream because I got scared. You know, there was someone and it took me little, little time to actually realize that I'm screaming after seeing myself. So that is, they're not actually scared of the dark. I prefer, like, I prefer sitting in the night and studying, maybe reading or stuff. That is my cozy environment. But yes. Do you believe in black magic? Like, uh, I have uh, heard a lot of black magic happening on people. Like, someone gave uh, someone, like, uh, uh, something to wear or, like, something at their home and, like, uh, things fell uh, out of place for them. Like... They had a bad experience, they had accidents, they have seen death just because of that like little thing which possessed, uh, I don't know, like a dark energy which attracted uh, bad things in their life. Like, have you heard or have you had like any... I've had such an experiment, I mean not experiment, like such an uh, experience. It was not with me. It was uh, once my father had gone somewhere with like a few of our relatives that gone somewhere I don't remember where, but like after coming back, uh, you know, like after a few days only he started saying he felt a bit weird, different and like, you know, it was like he was feeling very emotionally like unstable kind of thing. And um, like after a few, like after a few weeks, he even fell uh, ill and everything. And like, you know, just things uh, did went bad just for him, not for all of us. And um, after that, even though we did not personally believe, you know, sometimes we just say, even though we don't believe in it, ki, you know, kisi ke nazar lag jati and stuff. So we had a few relatives who were like, you ek bar wo nazar utar le and do stuff. So they did that. And to be honest, after that, uh, it went fine. I don't know if this was just a phase of life or there was uh, really something, uh, you know, kind of black magic involved in it. But this was something, you know, the first time I even like saw something even related to all this kind of stuff. Like uh, I have a uh, like I have a friend. Uh, her name is Vedahi. She may be uh, coming on like the podcast in future. Like uh, uh, she told me one of her experiences, like uh, one of her relatives. Uh, he had to face black magic. Like like there were a. Uh, what like bhai bhai the, do bhai the, and like one of the uh, brother he did ba- black magic on like the other brother so that he falls ill he gets out of place and like uh, just he faces a lot of like bad Problems things and he stuff. gets yeah and the other brother the one who did black magic he gets all the property and like I don't know like it was just for property and like monetary gains uh, it it was a little creepy to like listen to and like uh, how the other brother uh, out of those two he like just left the house for like a long time and like he hasn't come back since like it happened oh. 2010s ke time pe and like the person hasn't come back uh, home since like he just went blank and like jo wo bhai the jinke upar black magic hua tha unke jo bete hai do Unko be like, uh, they too had to face like uh, kind of same scenarios in life. And like they all, like the other two brothers, they did like puja and all at home. They did havan, they called like uh, mantri, uh, mantri, sorry, uh, mantric and the uh, spiritual, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, the spiritual person. And like he told them, ki, like, you have some dark energy in this place. I don't know if he, it has been like embossed on your life. But like uh, it resides here and like uh, it is actually quite powerful. Hmm. I mean like what happened with me was not that um, you know like elaborated or something but it was very li- it was like most of it did not happen in front of me also so I, it's just what my parents have told me. But it is like you know it, it just even when even you listen to this also it just you know there's a shrill kind of uh, feeling that creeps into you and you sometimes get goosebumps listening to them no even though it is like you know you have no relation to it like far by far also you get creeped out by things like uh if you hmm. see death you do get creeped out like uh are you scared of like dead bodies have you seen dead bodies like 
I have not like physically seen dead bodies, but no, I'm not scared of them. Have you seen pictures? I have. Like, uh, what did you feel? To be honest, like nothing. Um, the most recent one was like I was I saw it fifteen days ago. It was like one of my uh, relatives had passed away, so just like you know, uh, the, we couldn't attend the funeral. They were like one of our distant relatives, so we couldn't attend the funeral. So the pictures were sent to us. and i mean i did not feel anything instead i was like you know i was just finding out the difference between the alive person and the dead person that's weird what's the different that you uh, saw i mean she was just yeah, she, it was a, a female she was just a bit more paler and just still kind of like her whole face had gone gotten pale and after that it was like quickly they buried her so it was not much but what i saw, what the pictures that one or two i saw they were like she was really pale and usually that contrast lips pink color and there's little of that you know thing a whole face was like blank and pale like uh, what do you feel like happens after a person dies genuinely i have li- i i don't know what to believe in like you know is there an afterlife is there not do you get reborn do you not it's a very you know uh, for me like well, i have read about it and all but none of the none of the facts have been able to like you know we say you know, sometimes some things uh, get embedded or like grasped into your mind and you start believing them none of those facts have been able to do something so i'm like for me it is just let's see let once we die we'll see you know what will happen that is for a time for later are you scared of death no How but do I do want it? to enjoy. I I I'm not scared of death for that matter. But I do want to enjoy my life and die. Even though, but I would say, even though I'm not scared of that, I uh, do have a fear of um, you know. Sometimes I don't know when I'm like sitting in a car and I'm not doing it, uh, doing anything or like usually in a car you either you know scrolling through your social media or, or you're reading something or something. like a few times i've not i've not sat i just paid attention to like the car uh, like you know running and everything and uh, this time it was running very uh, fast like not like at the average speed and for a second you know that fear creeped into me like what if the car breaks fail that is that is my weird thing i'll just at the most random moment get the most weird thoughts and start overthinking over it like how do you perceive death like it depends on how the person dies uh i i i hope and pray that you know whoever like i am not wishing this on someone god forbid if anyone dies i just really pray that they die a non painful death and you know just pass away happily uh because you know suffering and dying is according to me very bad Do you have any ghost experiences or something? Uh I mera malum nahi like meri jo nani ji hai she tells me like ki uh, I'll not see ghosts in like uh, in person in my life at least I'll listen about them like wo jo wo kundali wagera nikalta I don't yeah. believe a lot in that but like she tells me like ki uh, you have like a very high position in that like kundali ka maps rehta hai so hmm. like you will never uh, see a ghost in your life like you have a very strong spiritual side also which guards you like uh, i recently like heard a podcast it was like uh, uh, based on like ghost and occult only yesterday night only i heard it jo like bolte hai like you get creeped out to the extent like it's just not the uh, podcast ke andar jo bhi background music use kiya tha just the content that they both were speaking about that is only you a lot yeah it creeps you a lot and like uh, just the fact ki like uh, a person can uh, become a ghost like just just circumstances that can change a person's life it's uh, actually like very uh, creepy to listen and like spooky to listen and like a uh, ghost agar like specifically agar main batau to like i don't have any ghost experiences but my relatives have had uh, a lot of people that i know like they have told me that they have had any ghost experience like mere jo uh, nani ji ke uh, nani ji ke mamma ke papa the like meri nani ji ke nana yeah 
he was like a proper tantric so like he dealt with a lot of ghosts and like things so like uh, my uh, nani's mother she to uh, she recently came to mumbai and like uh, she told me a lot about like how her father like matlab uh, i like to just share this one experience ki like uh, her father he was like uh, a proper tantric and like he uh, coordinated in like uh, what you call like different realms of this world so like he was like a middleman like he used to just translate things from like a ghost to like the normal uh, common people like humans alive humans so like uh, he uh, like once he uh, every day used to go to like a garden that was near their house and there was like a specific bench where he used to like sit just like see the environment walk a little bit come back sit and then come back to the house at like about 8 9 o'clock so like uh, that day he didn't come home till like 9:30 10 o'clock ho gaye the and he didn't come to home so like meri nani ji ki jo mamma thi she all went like crazy like where is he she went like asked the neighbor she asked the garden ke security guard like kahi dekha hai kya unko like dikh nahi rahe ye 7 baje wagera se chale gaye ghar se job se aaye bag rakha hath pair muh dhoya thoda sa chai piya aur like garden chale gaye aur aaye nahi hai dekho 10 bajne ko aa gaye to like everyone was like scared then like suddenly they saw him like uh, he was like coming at uh, he was coming down the road to the house like he came he didn't speak a word with anyone he just went straight to the bathroom he added uh, salt to like uh, the bucket he had like a salt bath and then like he came he went to like the bhagwan ji ka room he just like uh, uh, prayed for a little bit and then drank some water and like came and sat in the hall then like uh, nani ji ki mamma nani ji unke jo bhai the wo sab ne like unko jaake pucha kya hua tha 10 baj gaye kahan gaye the aise matlab aake kuch bol bhi nahi rahe ho to he told ke like i was like sitting uh, on that bench and like uh, a, a spirit came to me he uh, told me ki like aise aise mere experiences hai aise aise i am uh, unsatisfied i have uh, some wishes that are to be completed and like one of the wishes is that uh, you have to come to my house for like a dinner today so he was like theek hai like no problem i'll go to your house for a dinner and like the spirit uh, took him to his house he uh, had a dinner and like uh, he met the family the family is also dead okay just for context like his children his wife and like the person he, they all are dead and like uh, he sat in the house he had like dinner and then like uh, he told them bye and like he came home and then like she asked him like where uh, did you go with that spirit so she's like uh, like agle chauk mein ek ghar hai wo kone ka udhar main like khana khane gaya tha unke ghar pe तो लाइक नानी जी की जो मम्मा थी शी टोल्ड कि लाइक दैट हाउस इज ब्रोकन फॉर लाइक 12 इयर्स नाउ एंड लाइक यू वेंट टू अ ब्रोकन हाउस देन ही टोल्ड कि लाइक आई डेंट सी एनीथिंग ब्रोकन और सॉर्ट्स लाइक प्रॉपर घर था लाइक खाने का वो बर्तन वर्तन सब थे लाइक उनकी वाइफ ने साड़ी पहनी थी उनके बच्चे खेल रहे थे फिर लाइक वो मेरे से बात कर रहे थे अच्छे से लाइक ही जस्ट टोल्ड कि लाइक इट वाज ऑल नॉर्मल एंड लाइक इट वाज वन ऑफ हिज विशेस सो लाइक ये मतलब घोस्ट एक्सपीरियंस कह सकते हैं लाइक Yeah, that's a very elaborate one too. Yeah, like uh, he wasn't the ghost, and his like family, they weren't harmful, but it's just like they were unsatisfied, and he helped, uh, and he helped them like just complete those wishes. That that is that was really sweet on your grandfather's part. But you know, when we listen to it, we will get a bit spooked out. Like you know, there was nothing. and you know i mean like whenever you i mean there's lot of times when we hear ki idhar kuch hua tha you know, you're like you must have i i usually do like imagine ki you know where what would have happened sometimes you know just while imagining also you get creeped out and you're like okay just let's leave it your mind plays with you for that matter yeah you don't play with your mind the mind plays with you like that's actually a good quote <laughs> like i can write it some day <laughs> on a wall it is you know our mind is really strong we just don't know its power yeah like agreeable like understandable like overthinkers all those overthinkers uh, who are listening this podcast or like all those people who think that they are overthinkers just uh, <laughs> know the fact that uh, don't mess with your own mind for a lot of time because you can get creeped out or like you 
I don't know like it uh, it has like positive and uh, negative effects so like just try to uh, find the positive ones just like don't look ne but like just uh, stay away like oh proper mamma jaise bolte hain like malum hai mujhe like aisa rehta hai par like dur raho beta like wahi hai hmm yeah so like uh, i'll like to ask you about like history like the history that we are taught in a school so like uh, uh, what uh, is it like do, do you feel ki uh, is it completely correct on the part of like the history tellers and like what is just your take on like the history that we are taught in our school i mean like personally i am a person who likes history uh, i mean it is completely opposite to my uh, family in which my dad my brother they they i mean yesterday only i would say for that matter we were having uh, an argument why history is important uh, in school because my brother was like history is simply being taught it's just mug up and everything you have to just by heart it you don't have and it does not apply in life and you know we were just fighting over it personally for me um, you know like the history also divided like one is like ancient civilizations how they were formed then there is like the middle history and then there is like our recent history a uh, british times and everything uh, for me my favorite part like of all like all these three is you know the ancient history knowing how civilizations were built and everything uh, i do not find our like you know our recent history that interesting it's my personal view some people find it interesting about its validity it's like see there will be some things that are true some things that are false even at that time you know pe- i don't know if people will agree with me but uh, like if we just fra- the development of the british during when they were in india if we just uh, you know leave it to our imagination of how it would grow by this time about 75 years we celebrated 75 years independence in this 75 years we would uh, be under the british you know i think no one will disagree with me that um, you know india would have also developed uh, but yes being under someone's control is uh, you know be- being in our own control is better than being in someone else's control but i would say that uh, there were a few ill effects of the british maybe the way through everything was wrong or uh, i don't know what to say but i would also say ki there are a few things that uh, the british have brought or the british have done that are really good we'll just take an example of there must be there are a few um, you know um, not monuments i would say the few structures that the british have built they were like 100 200 years old but they are still in you know a proper running condition proper effective so you know it was not just bad as you know everyone looks into it most people look into it into the uh, like you know they colonize the country but we also have to look into uh, the positive benefits and stuff they did that is what i believe i have a proper uh, opposite view uh, of britishers like i do have positive sides i i heard all the positive sides uh, i know i have been informed i have the research and everything like i am a proper like nerd uh, when it comes to like re- researching like topics it may be like any topic for that matter like just a phone that i am going to buy from like ancient history and like i'll just like to uh, like bust a myth the history that we are taught it's not the most uh, correct and most accurate representation of the whole things that really happened the history that we should be taught or like at least we should know after being taught like the bookish thing is the real experiences of the people who had to like go through the whole uh, who have lived through the whole period that the history uh, that we are being taught like let it be british raj uh, let it be like uh, i don't know like let it be any ancient history the ancient history i don't know if there are any uh, people who really lived through that part and who are actually like living now but like uh, the uh, like the people the people who are being passed on the right set of information i'm not talking every information can be right i'm just talking the information that actually contains facts and information that can be a uh, what you call like socially valid and not socially like anything like just valid on every set of parameters and like uh, 
the history that we are taught by like uh, the british it was all socially engineered like the britishers have uh, just engineered a lot of things into the current uh, day india that we see uh, let it be our social practices the enmity that uh, we have uh, with the own people like our own indians that we have the enmity mm. let it be the enmity with like the uh, neighboring countries that we have let it be the history that we are taught like we are just taught till like uh, we were uh, barbaric we were uh, having those in the uh, valley civilization that's just the starting of the like the whole thing the that history is... that the history that india has the uh, the text the old text let it be upanishads let it be the bhagavad gita i'm not talking from a religious standpoint for any person that uh, may get offended by like me talking about the uh, the book or like the specific bhagavad gita and all i'm just talking about the information that it gives not the uh, statements that it makes or like not the religion that uh, it may promote i'm not talking it promotes religion it's just that we have accepted it to uh, promote uh, religion of sorts and like uh, let it be the upanishads let it be uh, the uh, garud puran the vishnu puran the shiv puran the uh, devi puran the things and the information that it gives us it dates back to like 30000 years before like uh, the current period like it's 30000 years before humans like ever uh, had the uh, the thing like we call history like it's 30000 years old and it has a like proper uh, periodic tabular uh, information that has been like just written down like in the early period it wasn't written down because duh, we didn't have paper and like uh, the ink and all it was just passed down from generation to generation, generation. to generation yeah it was just like a, a like a verbal thing but like when we uh, got the hold of things and like when we started to write it down that's when like things became actually interesting and like the britishers knew that if we know like every set of things and like the current day politicians also know that the current day people with power to know that ki agar humko actually sab malum pad gaya to it will cause an hay wire like it will cause some massive massive repercussions and that's why we are not given the whole information it's just like we get a kya bolte hai a distilled version of like the whole history uh, and like it's just that we are not being uh, given the rights that right. we have yeah the rights that we have the rti right to information that's not actually being provided it it it's is like wo a... bacche ko na chup karane ke liye lollipop like jitna bachcha chup ho raha bas utna de diya yeah uh, the britishers knew that we had like a nice big golden past i'm not talking this from like just a patriotic stand uh, it is not completely patriotic it's just the fact that like we have had history it may not be like so golden like it may be the golden theory like uh, india sone ki chidiya thi wagera it may be a little white washed but like the information that it's uh, showcasing it actually like uh, gives us to uh, kya bolte question the information that we are being currently given and like britishers knew that and that's why they tried to socially engineer us they wiped out many of the history that we had let it be verbal let it be uh, like uh, the written things that we had they destroyed it and it's a fact like the britishers themselves the uh, ex officers they themselves have uh, come on uh, like come on like the social stage and they have said it it's not just me you can uh, research it on like your own grounds uh, it's not the thing like ki mai sirf se fake rao you can uh, uh, research it you have the internet you have people you have like apni dada dadi se sirf pooch lo they will tell you a lot different uh, set of history i'm not talking ki like wo jo uh, like the white wash just be rational in whatever uh, that you are being like fed into just like क्या बोलते हैं लाइक दिमाग लगा के सुनो आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग कि लाइक एकदम ही नर्ड हो जाओ इट्स जस्ट दैट कीप योर इमोशंस असाइड एंड जस्ट लाइक हियर द स्टैंड पॉइंट्स ऑफ लाइक द ब्रिटिशर्स दैट वी आर बीइंग हर लाइक द थिंग्स दैट वी आर लाइक लिसनिंग नाउ एंड द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ लाइक द पीपल हु हैव लिव्ड थ्रू इट
you know that is you know that is true like him but it is also i believe now um लाइक जो हिस्ट्री हम पढ़ रहे हैं ना हमसे यू नो दो साल दो चार पाँच साल पहले बच्चे भी दे वर लर्निंग द सेम थिंग आई ऑल्सो आई हैव दिस पॉइंट ऑल्सो दैट आई बिलीव दैट इवन वन यू टीचिंग ना यू हैव टू यस गिव दैम अ ब्रीफ आइडिया एंड ओवर व्यू ऑफ हु आर कंट्री वर्स्ट लाइक दैट मीन्स बी इन ईच कंट्री यू विल नॉट गो टीचिंग योर सिटीजन लाइक यू नो यंग सिटीजन अबाउट अनदर कंट्रीज पास्ट समथिंग यू डू गिव दैम अ ब्रीफ अबाउट यू नो योर कंट्री द यू नो गुड्स एंड इवन द बैड्स बट आई ऑल्सो बिलीव दैट यू नो हिस्ट्री शुडेंट बी ऑल्सो टू ओल्ड लाइक यू नो अगर तुम बहुत पुराने दैट्स वट uh i let that let let me yesterday when i was talking to him that let me thinking there is so much old history when we go to teach also you know the children will like what will i do of this yes there are people who want to get into you know uh fields where you need history and history is important but i also believe that modern history what is happening uh, maybe just 5 10 years ago that is also supposed to be you know told to us inform to us you know we cannot inform ourselves about everything so you know they should be ready to inform this all to us yeah like uh, jo matlab uh, white washing hai like it may be currently like currently also it's happening with like the political leaders in power and like uh, without power कि लाइक वी आर बीइंग गिवन लाइक सॉर्ट्स ऑफ वाइट वॉश्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन इट मे बी लाइक सच दैट पर्सन एक्स वाई जी पर्सन लाइक मतलब द पर्सन ही द पर्सन ही और शी दे कैन लाइक बी वाइट वॉश्ड अ लॉट कि लाइक ही वॉज सो ग्रेट ही डिड सो ग्रेट थिंग्स इट्स ओके फॉर लाइक अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट इट इज ओके बट लाइक we need to to get like uh, the not white washed information i'm not talking ki like white wash mat karo if a person is doing some good thing you should appreciate it it's human nature you need to appreciate things and like uh, just the uh, fact ki like tum ye itna mahan tha ye itna ganda tha like just don't have strong opinions or strong emotions right. attached with, uh, attached with your opinions completely you know true and right what you have said also like jo padha rahe hain hame the education system it has to like uh, give us a, a more a broader perspective i'm just telling ki like sabka thoda thoda batao bacche ko jisme right. interest rahega he can research he or she can research about the whole thing or like they have kept it so like you know strict and stern ki ye 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 yahi hai and so you know it's like yahi padhna it, it sometimes for it depends also like i as i said i personally find uh, interest in uh, the previous like you know early history some may find uh, like you know they may find interest in modern history some may find interest in you know like the british period or some may just not find interest in all of the three and you know what is recent happening maybe like 5 6 years ago what is you know when they are uh, alive what is happening what is that history you know they may just have interest in that a children should be given that you know little uh, kya bolte exposure to everything so that they can uh, find out what they like history is written by the winners so like wahi ek like losers ki side bhi hame uh, ek batani chahiye right yeah i'm not talking like ek winner rehta hai ek loser rehta hai everyone gets affected abhi like ek example main do to like the mahabharata that we are taught from like a childhood it's like all ki like uh, krishna tha pandav the kaurav the and like we have just being uh, embossed and we are just being provided with the information of the pandava side recently mai ek abhi book pad raha hu it's just beside me uh, it's uh, like duryodhan's perspective on like the mahabharata the kaurava side of mahabharata and it's actually very interesting to like hear all the parties and i feel that's actually more rational more than important. just and that yeah. you know even only when you listen to everyone uh, who are a part only their like point of view their belief and their views only then should you also form a kya bolte you know a a view on this like you know hum neutral tab tak neutral agar theek hai tumne sab kuch research karke then you form a you know polar side or polar view of the thing it is fine but you know now we listen to one side and then also we form views that is something we shouldn't be doing according to me 
we should be uh, like uh, the current uh, humans that are living here i feel for like the future and like for the present we have to be multipolar in uh, our views and it doesn't mean ki, like we shouldn't have any strong views about like uh, xyz topic it's just that we need to be informed all the things like uh, let it be like agar abhi main just like examples dene ko jao to like the british war crimes the japanese war crimes the russian war crimes the like the usa the uh, the usa uh, the war crimes that it did या तो लाइक ये पॉडकास्ट के लिए बहुत ज्यादा बातें कर लिए वी हैव लाइक बिलियन टॉपिक्स दैट वी कैन टॉक अबाउट लेट इट बी हिस्ट्री लेट इट बी लाइक मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री ओल्ड हिस्ट्री लेट इट बी जियो पॉलिटिक्स आई लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट जियो पॉलिटिक्स विथ यू लाइक यू आर लाइक अ प्रॉपर वेल रेड पर्सन आई फील यू हैव लाइक अ नाइस कंट्रोल इन द लैंग्वेज दैट यू हैव द स्टैंड दैट यू गिव uh and like it's very beneficial when you have like a proper interesting person to talk with like it's just my point i mean you are equally interesting you know it it feels so nice to talk to someone you know on topics where you know you haven't spoken to a lot of people to and that's what as you said you know you are very well informed and stuff you know what you are speaking it's facts what you put out so it's really you know very you know pleasure talking to you heavy conversations actually impact you a lot uh, and like uh, my goal here is just to give out facts and uh, it's not about forming people's opinions or like just uh, embossing or like just portraying some like god like figure it's just that i'm putting forward the facts that i know that i have researched that i believe in it's uh, your opinion ki tum us pe believe karo ya na karo and like you have faith in in it or not like it's your uh, at opinion. the end of the day it is you who decides what you want to believe and what you don't yeah like aise hi uh, heavy conversations hum karenge uh, or like uh, agar uh, jo ye listeners is podcast ke tumhe ye podcast acha laga to hame uh, ideas thode se niche batao like what are the new topics, topics that... to speak on yeah uh, we have the topics it's just that uh, we need to uh, hear from y- your side the uh, audiences uh, side ki like tumhe kin topics pe hum baat kare ye acha lagega kyunki like uh, that can create a more engaging audience i feel or like uh, audience like bahut achhi ek tool rehta hai for like a small creator or like for that matter any creator so like let's see the guests and the audience play uh, a lot of Uh, a big part in my life and like i'm uh, very proud ki like i have such an audience it's a very small audience like meri audience 180 100 logo ki hai but like the uh, engagement that i get it's not a lot but the quality of content that i'm giving out and the uh, i don't know like the impression of people uh, the impression that people have of me is uh, changing a lot so like that's a very uh, nice uh that's the uh gift for me that's the scoop of happiness for me that that's really sweet and nice yeah to like uh ye podcast ke liye itna hi anushka te sath baat karke bahut zyada acha laga uh you have like a meeting in uh, a little bit time so like yes. uh, best of luck for that uh, meeting also thank you so uh, much uh, we are uh, expecting you for another blockbuster podcast in the future uh, for like uh, a lot of topics that we have to talk about i'm always so. ready it's it's very fun to speak and talk on your podcast with you so i'm always ready for you know whenever we can you know shoot more content and you know get, just speak about more fun topics yeah so uh, that's it for this podcast guys agar aapko ye podcast acha laga hai hamare uh, views agar aapko acche lage hai to uh, podcast ko like karo share karo subscribe karo dislike karna hai to dislike karo aur comment zarur karo like engagement badhao aur like uh, agar aap kisi podcast hosting uh, platform pe se sun rahe hain jaise ki apple podcast ya fir spotify ya fir google podcast to hame follow zarur kijiyega hamare podcast ko share zarur kijiyega aur ek achhi rating dena mat bhulna mere sare socials aap को डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएंगे अनुष्का के सारे सोशल्स आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएंगे हमें फॉलो करो डीएम करो हमारे साथ चैट करो हमें आ, अपने एक्सपीरियंसेस जरूर बताओ और लाइक ऐसी नई नई कॉन्वर्जेशन के लिए ऐसी इंटरेस्टिंग हैवी कॉन्वर्जेशन के लिए आ, हमारा पॉडकास्ट देखते जाओ और 
दैट्स इट आई गॉट फॉर दिस पॉडकास्ट आई होप कि आपको ये पॉडकास्ट बहुत अच्छा लगा होगा आई होप कि अनुष्का को भी बहुत ज्यादा मजा आया होगा और आई हैड अ लॉट ऑफ फन और लाइक ऐसे नए नए कॉन्वर्जेशंस मैं आपके लिए ला पाऊं सो बाय 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 बाय